Hey, this is Chidanand from Crux Infotech NG. In this tutorial, I plan to demonstrate how to set up an Azure pipeline to pull in a source code that is put up on GitHub. A source code for a simple web application that is written in Java and built using Maven. So I plan to put up a simple pipeline which will pull the source code from GitHub and push it out onto SonarCube server for performing a static code analysis. This tutorial is kind of an extension to some of my previous tutorials on this topic. I will leave the links to these tutorials which are on YouTube for you to refer to them so that you can understand this tutor tutorial a little bit better. This diagram kind of demonstrates what I plan to demo. On the Azure DevOps platform, I will first go ahead and install an extension called uh, SonarCube extension. These extensions can be viewed like uh, a plugins to Jenkins, if at all you have used Jenkins. So using these extensions, Azure DevOps is capable of establishing a connection to any other external servers. I will also bring up a SonarCube server on my local Windows machine. Since I will use the default runner which runs on the Azure DevOps platform, I will have to somehow expose my SonarCube server on a public IP address or a public uh, fully qualified domain name so that this SonarCube server is reachable to my uh, Azure DevOps agents which run on the Azure cloud. In order for these pipelines to talk to SonarCube server, it needs Sonar token or a token that is set up on SonarCube. So first, let me do this thing. I will go ahead and bring up my local SonarCube server. I have a little older version, 9.8 version of SonarCube, which will run on uh, my Windows machine. So I will bring it up and use an utility called ngrok to expose this onto a public IP address. So let me bring up my command prompt and um, sonar 9.8. All right, so I have this start sonar.batch file which will spin up my sonarcube server. Sonarcube server just needs uh, Java in order to run. I've already um, installed it once and um, set up the username and password. And uh, the default sonarcube will run on port 9000. It will take a minute for my SonarCube server to come up. Let me also show you one other beautiful utility that I will use. This is not required in case you run your SonarCube servers on a public IP address or an IP address which is reachable from well within your DevOps, Azure DevOps platform. So I will use this uh, tool so that I can expose my local SonarCube using a you know fully qualified domain name that is reachable from any public IP address. All right, my SonarCube server is up and running. So let me log into my SonarCube server. Now this is my SonarCube server that is running on port 9000. All right, so let me use another utility of this ngrok utility just to ngrok http 9000 so this fully qualified domain name is what is available for anybody from the outside world to reach on to my sonar cube server i'm just verifying that okay so this ip address or this fully qualified domain name is the public ip address that i will configure in azure devops so my SonarCube server is up and running. The SonarCube server is available on a fully qualified domain name, which is accessible from the outside world. Let me go ahead and create a token. Now the token can be uh, can authorize anyone on the behalf of 
सोनर क्यूब सो दैट दे कैन गेट इन टू माई सोनर क्यूब परफॉर्म एनालिसिस सो लेट मी गो टू माई सोनर क्यूब सर्वर लेट मी गो टू माई अकाउंट सिक्योरिटी एंड लेट मी क्रिएट अ टोकन आई विल क्रिएट अ टोकन फॉर अजोर डेवॉप्स आई विल कॉल इट अजोर डेवॉप्स द टोकन नेम डजेंट रियली मैटर there's a different sets of permission that you can specify you can create a user token or a project analysis token a uh, access right only for a particular project i will go ahead and create a global analysis token which has got a lot more permission so expires in 3 days sounds okay let me generate this token and uh, let me copy this all right let me just copy this onto my notepad because this token is only visible once so let me just quickly copy that onto my notepad my sonar cube server is up and running my sonar cube server um, is available on a public ip address or a fully qualified domain name uh, where anybody using that fqdn can reach out to my sonar cube from the outside world there is also a sonar token that i have created for performing analysis now let me come back to my azure devops let me install this extension and um, i also have to configure a sonar cube server which tells azure devops where is my sonar cube server what is the token that is associated with this particular sonar cube server and i may have a use case where there are multiple sonar cube servers on that i may have to configure so i can give some unique names for each of these sonar cube servers Okay, let me log into my Azure DevOps. All right, first and foremost, Azure DevOps may not understand Sonar Cube. I'll have to install an extension. Okay, what kind of an extension we are talking about? I need something to do with Sonar. So just search for Sonar. You will find Sonar Cube. Okay, there's lots and lots of information available, and if you look at the number of installations that have happened, uh, this looks like a good thing to try out. So get it for free. It's as good as installing a plugin on Jenkins. Okay, so this is my org. Sounds okay. Let me go ahead and um, install this. All right. so my extension uh, is installed now let me go ahead and put up a pipeline oh before i put up my pipeline i think i will have to set up something called as um service connections and now this is a project specific connection so i have to configure what is the url of my sonar cube server what is the um the token that i would need in order to connect to my sonar cube server all right so uh, new service connection okay so what are we connecting our project to we are connecting our project to a sonar cube server so just search for sonar cube you'll find sonar what is the server url okay so now let me just go ahead and copy this url this is the public url of my sonar cube if it's running locally for you all that you got to specify is the url with the 9000 port number what is the token okay i have copied the token somewhere here let me just paste this token what should be the service connection name okay if at all i have multiple sonar cube servers i will give some specific names so that i can identify my um different sonar cube servers that is connected to my project so i will just call it since i have only one i will call it my sonar hyphen server okay grant access permissions to all pipelines um, all right that should be fine so let me go ahead and uh, set this out so my project has been configured with a sonar cube server now let me go ahead and uh, put up a pipeline now before that uh, let me let me show you the um, github source code repository for the simple project this project is nothing much out here it's a very very simple project but i've written some bad code so that when it gets analyzed there's some warnings and um, 
technical debts that kind of show up well within the analysis. So this is the project that I will configure from my for my pipeline. So let me come back to my pipeline. I will say pipeline. I'll say new pipeline. And uh, where is my source code? It's on GitHub. The first time if you do this, you'll have to authorize your GitHub uh, in order to allow access to Azure DevOps. I've already done that. So my project name is MVN uh, Demo. Now this is the project, or rather this is the source code repository. Automatically it tells me what type of uh, pipeline you would want to set up. Maven uh, looks good. All right, so out here, um, let me just take a look at this YML file. This is the auto-generated YML file on the branch master. Use the uh, agent that is available on the pool that is provided by my Azure DevOps. Sounds good. Okay, right in the beginning, it says, um, you know, go ahead and do a Maven, um, a Maven task. Okay, the only thing that I would change here is 1.11 and I may not want to do any of these things. I may not want to publish the unit test cases. Okay, just before this, let me do one other small task. Okay, let me come here and uh, say, because I would want to set up some sonar specific configuration. So prepare sonar analysis configuration, uh, which is the sonar cube server that you would want to talk to this is my sonar cube server uh, what type of a project is this if at all you're using the source code for a microsoft kind of a project ms build our project our project is maven braced okay this sounds good and for some of the requirements you may have to pass in a bunch of additional parameters which are nothing but a properties from the perspective of sonar cube where is the source code of my particular project what is the project key? What is the project name? And a bunch of other things. Out here, since my repository is pretty simple and it's a Maven, standardized Maven project, I may not want to specify anything else. Okay, so this sounds good. I will say add this. So this first step or the task would ensure that it will create all the necessary steps for my sonar cube analysis. All right. Palm.xml and instead of package here, uh, I will do a clean install um, sonar colon sonar. Let me go ahead and uh, save this. Now you would notice that whenever I write this pipeline, there's a YML file created right inside the GitHub repository. Okay, so save and run. Now this is a commit message directly commit it into master branch sounds okay let me go ahead and save and run this okay so this will take a couple of minutes for the pipelines to get initialized and the pipeline to run so let me pause the video and um, come back in a bit the maven job is in progress and if you see here the sonar cube prepare environment you know uh, this step went on well. Now the Maven, Maven task is in progress. It took a little less than five minutes for my Maven job to get completed. And uh, if at all I go and take a look at, okay, if you see here, the Sonar Cube seems to have run. And um, let me also take a look at my NGROK. You will find lots and lots of hits, okay, meaning that you know, from the DevOps pipeline, Azure DevOps pipeline. There's a lot of calls that have come in. So let me open up my um, Sonar Cube server. Where is my Sonar Cube server? Yes, if I come back to my projects here, if you see here, Embian demo, last analysis one minute ago. Okay, if I take a look at what is there in the code, uh, how many use cases are there, and uh, code smells, not so good code that is written all the analysis that has been done on my particular source code. There are a lot more use cases on top of this where you can establish something called as a quality gate, check whether your application analysis passes the quality gates and stuff like that. 
Okay, but then in a very, very simplistic way, how to put up a simple pipeline job on Azure DevOps and what does it take in order to connect that with SonarCube? I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and as usual, I will leave all the documentation in the description section and um, please try it out in case you run into any issues, kindly leave a message and I'll try to address it as soon as I can. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my videos.